Okay, welcome and in today's video we're going to be looking at um, adding a calculated field to a query. Now you can see this is an existing query that we had. Um, this is one we used in the previous videos and there's nothing calculated here. Okay, if we look at um, the actual query itself, we'll see there's nothing much that we need to calculate. So, let's go into the design view and we're going to create a new field. Now, we can pull this from our CD table uh, and I've already got one that's called total. So I've got total there, it tells me that it's based on the CD table and if I run that, um, you will see what's happening. see there the numbers are there okay so I have my totals in place okay so now what I want to do is I want to actually let's say add this total um, to the other one here so it's just for the purpose of you seeing how a, a calculated field actually works so first thing we're gonna go and do um, is go to a new field Okay, and let's say we are going to call this field um, calc total. Let me put in our double dots. Okay, now when we are going to be using um, or doing some sort of calculation between two fields, we need to put in the field names. Okay, sort of like the cell references that we used in Excel. So I'm going to go and we're going to use square brackets. So I'm going to go and I'm going to use total and you need to do it exactly as it is in the field name. And I'm going to say, sorry, wrong bracket, that one minus. And I'm going to open a square bracket and go replacement value. Close my square bracket and hit enter. Okay. Um, Let's see if we've got everything we need. Yes, for now. So you can see that calc total will be the name of the field, and that's why I put a colon and then the field total minus replacement value. So let's see what it does. And you can see when I do this now in calc total, which is a new field, it now gives me 155 number, it gives me a negative number. Okay, so that's easy enough to fix. We go to our design view. And you've just got to take it the other way around. So now I'm going to delete total and I'm just going to go to placement value, go to the end. Oops. The end of replacement value, copy my minus and type in total here and my square bracket. And I can even say then over here that I want it in ascending. Okay, and then we're going to run that, and there you can see. There, for example, is 50 cent CD name Curtis, replacement value 160 Rand, genre wrap, total five, and I've subtracted this. Remember, we've taken replacement value and we've subtracted the total from that to get our calculated total. Let's go and have a look at it again. So there you can see that is our calculated field inside a query. And we can decide whether it's going to show, whether it's not going to show, but that's where we do it. 